Hello guys, Lego Master Reviews here, and today I'll be reviewing the Lego Star Wars set 75378 Bark Speeder Escape. This set is 221 pieces and retails for $29.99 in the US. You get four minifigures included, that being Keller and Beck, Grogu with his pod, and two 501st Troopers. So with that out of the way, let's jump right on into this video. First up is Keller and Beck, and he is definitely the best minifigure of the set by far. I really like the face printing on him there, as well as the nice torso print. You can see like there's a hint of gold in there, which I really like. I mean, he includes a very nice leg print as well. And lifting up the cape, you can see that he has a back torso print. There's also a bit of like gold print on there, which I think is very nice. You can see that he includes his two lightsabers, which is very accurate to the show. I think that looks great as well. And overall, he's definitely one of the main reasons I got this set. I think he's a fantastic minifigure, and I think Lego nailed it with this one. Next up is Grogu, and this is the same Grogu minifigure we've seen forever. There's really nothing different with him. You can see mine was slightly misprinted on the eye there. Um, I have so many Grogu's in my collection, though I'm really not that disappointed about it. I'm actually kind of glad that I have a unique Grogu, but if you don't have a Grogu yet, that might be um, something bad to get, but I'm sure yours won't be misprinted. But you can see there, the pot is also very nice. I like how they got the accurate colors on there. And you can see that comparing it to the UCS Razor Crest pot, that is a bit different. You can see there's a few different building techniques there, but still, for the most part, it is the exact same. You can also see it has a clear little base there. And if you want to put it on the speeder, you do have to remove that. Yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, I'm sure you have 600 Grogu's in your collection at this point, but the pot is very nice to get and I like how they put the accurate colors on it. You also get two 501st clone troopers included here and they are very nice inclusions but the um the helmets don't look great here there's literally no accessories to even attach to them like there's nothing included here there's no excuse for these helmets to be in this set and they look terrible without any accessories so that is very unfortunate but the torso and leg printing looks pretty great there. You can also see they have some blasters and underneath you get the normal clone face print so everything about this minifigure is pretty good except that the helmets just don't look that great at all. So that is a shame. I do kind of wish that maybe one of them was a shock trooper as well. I think that would have been great just to kind of get some variety. But still, if these clones didn't have the helmet wards, they'd be pretty great. Overall, I think the minifigure selection here is great. I think the Keller and Beck minifigure is fantastic. It's very nice to get Grogu's pod, but there's no denying that the 501st troopers feel very low quality. And I was saying earlier that I wish that there was a shock trooper in this set, but I don't think the shock troopers show up till later in this scene. So it makes sense why they're not here. Um, but yeah, I mean, pretty solid minifigure selection. I just wish the quality was a little bit better. And before we take a look at the Bark Speeder, I want to take a look at the legendary Lego Star Wars lamp. This is by far the best lamp in Lego Star Wars. I think the building techniques here are just crazy. And overall, this is a fantastic build. All jokes aside, though, um, it's a lamp. You could, like, you get, like, a stud back here. So I guess you could have one of the clone's weapons be there. You could have, like, a clone hiding behind it. Or maybe have, like, Killer and Beg, like, slice it in half. I don't really know, but it is here. I'm pretty sure it's also in the scene. So it makes sense while it's here. But to be honest, I think Lego had a $30 price point and needed to throw some something in here so they built the lamp but i kind of feel like lego could have just got rid of the lamp and also gotten rid of like a 501st trooper this could have been a great 20 dollars set um, but yeah, I mean, this is a pretty funny meme at this point. I'll probably have it in the background of my videos. Now taking a look at the Bark Speeder. I think this looks really great. There's only a few things I don't like about it, starting with these stud shooters. I think the whole build is very sleek and clean, and then you get to these stud shooters, they're kind of just there. Um, they just poke out. I just don't really like the look of it, honestly, but you can see fire off like normal stud shooters. Um, really nothing special about them. And it is a pretty easy fix. You can see, you just remove them. You could have a nice, like, sleek look if you wanted it. And you just put, like, a tile piece there. But I do kind of wish that Lego would have just hit it better or just not even included them. Um, you can also see you get a very nice long red piece, some ski pieces there. And I really don't like how these studs are exposed on the side there. I don't really get the way, like, why that's there. I feel like there's really no like reason to even have that. So that is annoying. You can see you get a seat for Keller and Beck as well as some handlebars. On the back section here, you can see you get um, three stickers. You get one there as well as one there. You also get one in the middle here. And I think it's just like you keep this section red. But you can see there's like a gap in between um, like the piece there. So there really was no point even putting that sticker there. So that's a shame. But you can also see you get some very nice like, um, sleek, like slope pieces down there, which is pretty cool. More of those um, ski pieces as well as like some thrust for the speeder um, and then moving on to hit like the um, little pod section you can see that you can move it a little bit with those technic pieces so you could get some pretty cool angles if you wanted to play with it like that um, and then you can also see that the pod itself looks pretty great. It is a bit uh, big for a second minifigure if you want to have like, another clone like riding it. It's like definitely meant for Grogu's pod. And it's kind of annoying because I'm pretty sure the 501st tubers originally show up on these. And then Killer and Beck takes them out. And then the, um, they still let them, like run off. So that would have been nice if you could actually fit the other 501st tuber on there. But nonetheless, it's meant for Grogu. You can see you get a sticker there. And I really like how smooth this back section is here using those pieces. And flipping it upside down, you can see you get some inverted tiles. So it sits on the table better. As well as a pretty nice like flat piece there. 
But now showing you what the minifigures look like, again, we'll grab Grogu, and again, you have to remove this clear piece there, and then move that out of the way, and then just place it down in the studs, and close it up, and then you just grab your Killer and Beck minifigure. And um, you can't have them, like, seated on the um cape there. It does kind of ruin the cape over time, so I kind of recommend just lifting the cape up, and then placing them on the studs, and then having his hands on the handlebar, obviously. And I think they both look pretty great on there. I think it's very accurate to the show. Again, the only thing that really takes away from it is the studs here, but everything else looks pretty great. And when these two characters are on, I think it looks really, really cool. But that's going to do it for my review on the LEGO Star Wars Bark Speeder Escape. Overall, I think this is a really great set. I think the build for the Bark Speeder is very nice. The only thing I don't like about it is the stud shoes, but that's a very easy fix. And you get the legendary LEGO Star Wars lamp. The only real problem I have with the minifigures is the helmets for the 501st Troopers, but you could also just replace those helmets with the helmets from the older 501st Troopers. I think the Keller and Beck minifigure here is also really great, and I feel like he could definitely go up in value if he appears in future seasons of The Mandalorian, or gets his own spin-off series or appears in the Mandalorian movie releasing soon. And he's just a really cool character in general to get. Um, but let me know in the comments down below what you think of this set. I would personally give it a 9 out of 10. I think it has a few flaws here and there, but if those could have been solved, this would have been a perfect set. Um, and also let me know if you have this set, what do you think of it, and if you plan on picking it up. And thank you so much for watching this video. I truly do appreciate it, and hope you enjoyed this video, and have an incredible day. Bye.